Hello there everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So it's Christmas time, you know what that means, Christmas movies! So I watched Rise of the Guardians. It's not a Christmas movie, but I watched it anyways. I really like this film. It's funny, enjoyable to watch, and kind of nostalgic to me. The story was cool, had lots of potential, and I swear that scene where Jamie sees Jack for the first time never fails to make me cry. Anyways, great movie. What is there not to like? The designs. I dislike them. Like, it could be better, man. Except for Santa Claus. Like, oh my gosh, I love how they made him a Russian, a big muscular man with tattoos. This version had always felt right with me than a traditional, like, ho 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 Santa Claus, you know? <laughs> what the heck did I just say? I'm gonna redesign them. By the way, I'm not a professional in anything, and I mean anything. Just let me have fun with my ideas. This design is too boring. Like, just a hoodie and pants, not even shoes. Which, by the way, I think shoes will make it more boring. The only recognizable thing about his design is his white hair and staff, so let's get to work. I first drew some kind of uh, pose or what I wanted for him to be, and then I made a list of things I would keep or add on. Next to the box with every character, I drew shapes that the character reminded me of. For Jack, I drew squares and rectangles. Then I went into a deep dive into research. So Jack Frost is best known in North America and Britain, the bear originating in England in origins of an ancient Norse figure, Jockle Frosty. In the movie, he was revived and became Jack Frost for 300 plus years, so most likely he's from when there was like the 13 colonies in the 1700s. So I went to search some designs for Jockle Frosty and uh, just love these images. I then searched for 1700s England clothing and came up with these sketches for a Jack Frost outfit. I mentioned how the, his design is in the movie and how, you know, how I think of it, but let me tell you, I don't think my redesign did him justice. I think it's a little more interesting, but still, it was hard trying to find something for Jack Frost. My ideas were to get clothing that is suitable for his time period instead of something that was like more current, like a hoodie. Although the hoodie matches his personality, it's just too simple. And one thing I'm confused about is how did he get to change his clothes? Like, I think the current look of Jack Frost was supposed to represent that time has passed, but still, like, he can just change outfits like that? I don't know. I feel like the only time it's appropriate to have an outfit change for Jack is when, towards the end of the film, when he fully accepts that he's a guardian, but that's just me. Anyways. I wanted to make Jack and Pitch's design more similar, but yet, like, polar opposite, so I added rips on Jack's uh, outfit and some white elements to the design as well. And with that, here's Jack Frost. I seriously thought she was Mother Nature when I first saw this film. I was so confused of why she was looking like a bird, and this is my least favorite design of this movie. The only thing I like about this design is how original it is. Especially compared to all the other generic Tooth Fairy designs, but I still don't really like it. It just looks odd to me. So, research, here we go! What I found out was that the Tooth Fairies roots back to the 10th century Norse people of Europe, and there was recorded writing of Norse and Northern European traditions. The Tooth Fairy is also a legend that dates back to the Middle Ages. Fun fact, back then the parents thought it was important to dispose of the children's teeth to not let them get possessed by witches. Then I started looking into fairies. I know a little bit about fairies. They are found in folklore of multiple European cultures, actually feared by humans, in the traditional stories and legends depicting fairies with no wings. Okay, that's enough. Another thing I noted that I think was important to mention is Toothiana, the tooth fairy's name from the movie is European and her parents are from Southeast Asia. Now, it's time to look at photos. Of course, with the pictures of tooth fairies on Google isn't much help, neither is the pictures for fairies, so I searched up fashion in South Asia. Now I'm sort of getting why they came to this design, so we are going to keep the bird theme. I wanted to take things from the tooth fairies or the European folklore fairies and South Asia fashion and mix them up together for the design. I wanted to keep the color palette and I made her skin darker and I had a few ideas of what I could use for as clothes and accessories from South Asian 
fashion and her concept art. I decided to give Tooth a bit more fluffy dress to match with the whole fairy thing, and I wanted some feathers as hair, but with like a few that are gold to match the jewelry, and I also added a lot of gold and jewelry because oh my gosh, all that gold and jewelry that you can see in the South Asian fashion for women, I just think is so beautiful. Anyways, Toothiana was the one I was having the most trouble on due to the amount of research and references I had to use, although I did have a lot of fun learning and creating this. And so with that, here's the Tooth Fairy. Boring. Very boring. He has spiky hair, a dark cloak, and sharp teeth. That's it. The shapes that he came off to me as was triangles, sharp and pointy, and I still kept the dark gray and black color palette of his, and I didn't do any research for him, and instead went straight into listing things for his design and sketching. Like I stated earlier, I wanted Jack Frost and Pitch to have some similarities with their designs, so I had his outfit torn. I wanted his eyes to be completely white, because I think it looks really cool and scary enough for children. And to keep up with the sharp and spiky look, I chose to give him a cape, triangular shoulder pads, and at the end of the gown, having an appearance similar to the Grim Reaper. I also added sleeves with spiky ends and rips, and to give him a more intimidating or scarier look, I gave him long, dark hair. Although I didn't need to do research, I still wanted to learn some things. So, off to Google we go. So it was like I thought. The Boogeyman was created to scare children so that they would behave, and he was first referenced in England in the 1500s. I also wanted to know if there was any legends about Pitch Black, and it appears to me that there is none. They just keep pointing back to the Rise of the Guardians books and movies, and that's all I got. Pitch was one of the characters where you immediately know how you're gonna draw him, and here's how he turned out. I adore this design. Second favorite. My first being Santa Claus. But still, I feel like it needs some more pizzazz. I didn't have much ideas for him, so research is here for the rescue. What I learned was that, just like with the fairies, he is from a European folklore, and he originates and is first written in a German short story called Der Sandman by E.T.A. Hoffman. In many depictions of the Sandman, he has an umbrella, seemingly using this to cast sweet dreams to children, as well with the sand. Sandy's design was good. Like I said, second favorite out of all of them, but I wanted to change his hair and make it more fluffy. I had an idea to make him wear pajamas, but I quickly discarded that idea. Like, I don't know, I just don't like the idea of him also being like a sleepy person. So I kept a swirly footy thing he wears and made his hair more fluffy and less spiky because it kind of reminded me of pitch. And I wanted to make part of his hair look like a sleeping cap that can help him with like charades like in the movie. Lastly, I added stars as buttons, and ta-da! I think he looks adorable. And here's the final redesign. I had so much fun creating these designs. I learned a lot, and it was kind of nostalgic to watch the movie again. I want to take this moment to shout out a YouTuber who made a similar video like this. The video consists of redesigns and even a rewritten version of the movie, and I love it so much. I won't say anything for those who are going to go over and watch their video, but I just adore this version of the movie. Like, I was imagining it the whole time, and I'm kind of upset it didn't actually happen. I adore this redesign and style, and the ideas were so good. I highly recommend you guys go over and watch their video. It will be linked down below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. See you next time. Goodbye.